What's up everyone, it's Steph, and today I'm going to show you how to deploy your project using Vercel. This project is going to be very basic. It's going to have a single HTML file and one CSS file, so there's not much to it. If you haven't heard of Vercel before, it's a deployment platform that makes it super simple for front-end developers to deploy their work. There is no configuration needed, and you can deploy it in literally a matter of a few clicks. I'm excited to show it to you. Let's get started. So I'm going to pull up my project here. And you can see on the left hand side, I have my code and on the right hand side, you can see a demo of what this builds. It's a little trivia game and I just want to show you how simple it is. It literally only has two files, this index.html and index.css. I'm going to post this to GitHub if you're interested in cloning it or just looking at it. I will link that down in my description below. But if we go into this index.html file, you can see that there are no dependencies. It's just straight up HTML, CSS, and a little bit of JavaScript. So down here we have our HTML, and it really consists of only a few elements. We have this P tag here, which is displaying the question number, which you can see right here. It starts at one and there's, it's out of five. Next we have our header, which is the question seen here. This P tag is going to be our answer, which is hidden by default. So we're going to add that later on using JavaScript. And then we have two buttons, our show answer button and our next button. Show answer is going to call our show answer function. And this is going to set the inner HTML of our answer P tag. So we can see the answer to the question when the button is clicked only. This next button is going to do a few things. So it'll call this next function, which will update the question number. So we'll see it update in this corner. And with that question number update, we will also update the question itself, which is displayed here. And we're gonna clear the inner HTML of the answer so that when they click next, we're not gonna continue to see that old answer in our answer P tag. So that is our complete project. I'll show you a little demo over here. So we have our question. I'm gonna click show answer and it gives us the answer. Next, you can see our question number updates, our question updates, and our answer updates when you click show answer. So now that we have our project, I want to show you how to deploy this with Vercel. And before you can deploy it with Vercel, we have to commit this to a repo in GitHub or Git of your choice. It can be GitLab or Bitbucket also. I'm going to use GitHub because it's just my favorite. It's my preference. Okay, so next I'm going to pull up in GitHub as well as my terminal. You can see here my terminal is on the left hand side and GitHub is on the right. The first thing we want to do is create a new GitHub repository. So I'm going to open this up a little bit and I'm just going to click new repository. Next, I'm going to be prompted to name it. I'll call it trivia game and then create. Now it is created and I can just copy these commands to run in my terminal. So now back in our terminal, I need to first move into my projects directory. So if you say ls, you can see all of the files in the current folder, and I want to move into my trivia game. So I can use a cd command, and then just say the name of the file, which is trivia, and now I'm in the correct project. Now I can paste the commands I copied. Next, I'm gonna say git status. We can see all the changes we've made, which is just adding our CSS and HTML files. I'm gonna say git add and just a period. This will add everything in my root directory that's been changed. And then I'm gonna say git commit. Here for the message, I will just say first and finally git push. Now, if we go back to GitHub and give this, this page a refresh, you can see that our files, if I expand it, you can see our files have been committed. Next, let's go to vercel.com. And I'm already logged in, but it's going to prompt you to log in with either Bitbucket, GitHub, or GitLab. I'm logged in with GitHub again, and I'm just going to click New Project. Now you can see all of my Git repositories are already listed with the framework that I use to create them. Here we see my trivia game repository, and it's just a dotted triangle. That's because there is no framework. It has no dependencies. So this is just a symbol for other. I'm going to click Import. I can skip this step because I don't have a team to create. And next, you can change the name if you want. I'm going to keep it. And you can see it detects the framework automatically, which for us is other because we're not using a framework. And all we have to do is click Deploy. This will take a few seconds to deploy, but once it does, it will be live for anyone to go visit. 
Now you can see it's deployed with the confetti and you can see a little preview of what it's gonna look like. You can also just go to your dashboard. Here's where you can see anything related to this particular deployment. And if you click on it, we can view it. So here's our trivia game. Works exactly how it did in localhost and anyone can visit it. Now what's really cool about Vercel is if you want to preview a specific branch, you can do that here. And as soon as you merge that branch into your main branch, it's going to automatically deploy. So you don't have to constantly redeploy it, which is super convenient. And that's it. Thanks for watching guys. That does it. It really is that easy to deploy with Vercel. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.